Hello beautiful women, I am Ishita Saluja, founder and head stylist at Ishita Saluja Image Consultancy. I style incredible women across the globe who are looking to reinvent themselves and looking for a boost in their confidence. So in today's video, I am going to talk about something very important and it's high time that we all should start doing it now. Repeating your Indian wear outfits at weddings. Now I meet so many women and they keep telling me that they want to buy a new outfit every time that they have to go to a wedding. Now two things that come to my mind. Number one, why aren't we using styling as a tool to create new vibe for your outfit? And number two, why do you want to spend so much on these Indian wear outfits which you cannot repeat very often like your everyday clothes? So today I am going to show you two outfits that I am going to reuse for another wedding and these are the outfits that I have already worn in the past. So I am going to tell you how to do it and let's normalize repeating our outfits. So let's start with the first outfit. Now like I said, I feel it's important that we normalize repeating clothes because especially Indian clothes are expensive and just wearing them once and dumping them doesn't make sense. So this is my first outfit that I'm wearing it for my cousin's function. Where did I wear it first? For my own haldi function. So I wanted to repeat it but I wore it a little differently and here is a tip for you. Rather than doing the same hairstyle or wearing the same accessories, think what else can you do with your outfit so that it looks slightly different. In fact, the whole vibe can be different of an outfit just by changing your makeup, accessories and hairstyle. So let's see what I did when I wore it the first time on my own haldi. I did a very minimalistic look. I just played with the hair, added some colour and did not do any jewellery because I did not want any kind of haldi to get on my accessories. But for this particular look, when I'm repeating my outfit, I made sure everything about my accessory, my hairstyle, my headgear is also changed. So I'm wearing these very cute bangles to add a fun vibe. I'm repeating my ring again. This ring I wore for my own wedding and I wanted to add some fun element in this outfit. So I decided to go ahead and wear this ring. I of course added this matha patti. Again, repeating from my own wedding outfit that I wore from my Sangeet function. So I am repeating it without wearing the mang tikka and added a cute hairstyle and wore something hanging so that the entire outfit elongates me also and looks different. Like I said, I wanted to add some fun vibes so I am going to be carrying this super cute, my favourite bag. Also I love how the yellow elements of the bag matches exactly with my outfit and of course it gives a little bit boho look when I carry such a bag with my entire outfit. So what I'm trying to say here is that do not be afraid to repeat your outfits because people might have seen it but it's your confidence, your accessories, your vibe that can change the entire look. So go ahead, take out the outfit that you wore the last time and repeat it for the upcoming function. So this is my second look and when I say recreate your outfits, this is exactly what I mean. Now I wore this blouse with a sari on somebody's wedding reception and I wanted to wear something fun at the cocktail that I'm attending. So I thought why not utilize this beautiful gorgeous blouse which was barely visible when I wore it with the drape sari. So what I did, I took out this blouse, made some Pinterest boards, decided what the kind of vibe that I'm looking for, went to a person who can do a design like this for me and I just got a skirt and a basic dupatta made and look how beautifully it has turned out. One thing I did more smartly was to make sure that my outfit has a lot of ghera because remember the ghera will actually add to the entire outfit's vibe. More the ghera, dressier your outfit will look. So if you have a blouse lying around which is very fun and you haven't used it, I will tell you go get a nice skirt made with it, get a nice dupatta and you will be set for the next function. Now let's talk about accessories and hairstyles. So when I wore this outfit for the first time, I mean the blouse, I wore it very differently. I had very different kind of hairstyle, my accessories were different. I made sure to change my accessory and make it more minimal and classy and I like to mix my diamonds and gold and that's what I've exactly done here. So where I'm coming from? Be more experimental, try more things and number three, normalize repeating outfits or recreating your outfits. So this is all for today. I really hope you liked this video and enjoyed it and you will also normalize repeating your outfits, especially your Indian wear outfits. So if you have liked this video, make sure to like it and share it with all your friends so that they can also start repeating their outfits. Make sure to hit the bell icon and also subscribe to our channel. And if you liked watching this video, then I would suggest next video for you, which is right here. This is Ishita Saluja, your style partner signing off. 
Until then, remember, style is for everyone and yours is within you.